Muscle Car Corner bring you another beautiful goat. Um, this is a 7455 Ram Air GTM, one of 241 produced uh, in convertibles built in 70. This car is phenomenal. 360 horse, 455 HO. That was conservative horsepower ratings at that point. It had turbo 400, pretty loaded up car. It's really nice. There's PHS documentation on it, showing all the factory options. This car in red, with red interior and black top, I mean, works. I love this car. Look at that. With the white on the red, this looks super cool. Super rare piece. One of 3621 convertibles produced in 70. One of only 241 Ram Air 455 HO convertibles produced in 70. Low production number car. Super cool. If you ordered this car new, you had a badass piece here, man. This car, you put the top down. Here's the original window sticker. Let's look into that just a little bit. Wow. I'm trying to see where the Ram Air is. Is 2.7 for the Ram Air engine. Not huge money, but you know, in its own right. That's what it was before you started adding things onto it. So looking at, let's just look at the total price on this car. It was 44.35.24. This car is phenomenal. I just love the buckets, the console. Uh, it's got the Trans Am inspired wheel that came into the Trans Am later in time. Just beautiful on this car. Love those rallies. That wing was really big and obnoxious on these, and they look cool. And uh, at speeds over 100 miles an hour, it probably did give you a little downforce in the rear, but if you had the top down, you were getting downforce anyway. That's the cool part. I remember my 69 Roadrunner convertible, man. I had the top down, I'd go out and I'd thrash that thing. It's just cool hearing the engine with the top down and hair blowing in, the, in your hair and just a uh, big smile on your face. So if I had that, this car, that's what I'd be doing. It is a Ram Air. This white lettering on this really looks cool. Uh, I am going to get the engine open so I can show you guys a really correct restoration on this car. It is a phenomenal restoration. Everything down to the T is just beautiful on this car. Um, a couple small teeny things I see, but nothing major. I won't even mention. Kudos to whoever did the restoration on this car. Really fine. Taking time to do things like plating the hinges correctly. That means a lot to me in a restoration. It's small things that add up to big things. Take a look at the factory where they tried to duplicate how they let the red overspray going into the underside of the black and they reproduce that, which is really neat to see that. So when you get down to paying attention to detail and restoration, this is what it's all about, is looking at these things and seeing, you know, some of the, the flaws and some of them like this from the factory, so no harm, no foul, but you know, it's hurt them, just not correct paint on the radiator. It's very minor, but to me, it's it's worth doing right. You know, let's go back and put these cars back correct. I'm not picking on this car by any means. It's a phenomenal restoration. So, just some of the things that I look at that I do that, I don't know, it's just one of those things, you know, I'm picky. YC block detailing everything just it's just amazing down to the, the bolts on the upper A arms all correct man well I thought I'd bring this thing to you it's concourse restored car GTO AA National Convention this car has won a lot of awards and I can see why it's it's a beautiful piece of machinery and I love it and it's all about that Ram Air right there man 
good stuff. If you like my videos, please subscribe, give me a like. I'll bring more of these to you. I'm going to have them coming for quite a while. So I appreciate y'all. Thanks so much.